Are you trying to roll your rhomboid paint away like Arash's? Give me less than 10 minutes of your time. I'm gonna show you the most overlooked assessment and the best exercises to fix this. Get that plot. <laughs> Dr. Craig Lindell here from the Prehab Guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to take care of that annoying mid shoulder blade, that rhomboid pain. So this area right in between your shoulder blade and your spine, maybe it's the rhomboid, maybe it's something else, but when this thing is bothering you, it is extremely annoying. It can be very nagging. You're trying to smash it with a tennis ball. You're trying to stretch your neck. You're trying to foam roll your back, but maybe it's not that. Maybe you need to take a look at your thoracic mobility. So I have a Raj here. He's gonna be a great demo. I want you to get set up on your hands and knees first. Now, let's bring the camera around this way. Arash, can you bring your forearms together and bring your knees together? Try to get your knees and your elbows to touch. So I'm gonna show from here, basically we're trying to get down into this position. You're gonna have the top of your feet flat on the ground, like me. You're gonna try to get your butt back. This is the starting position for us to assess thoracic rotation. Now, Rush, what I would like for you to do is if we're gonna take a look at your left rotation, get your left hand behind your back. Is that comfortable on your shoulder? Good. Now I want you to imagine that you are literally stuck in a pipe. You can't move out of the pipe. So I just want you to try to rotate, try to look at the top of the pipe. So Al has a really good camera angle right now. What we're looking at is if he comes back down, so his torso is relatively parallel to the ground. We're gonna see how much can he rotate. I'm looking at the line of his collarbones. Ideally, Arash is getting 45 to 50 degrees side to side. As he does it, I tell him, hey, stay in that pipe, stay in that tunnel, don't move. Arash is doing a pretty good job, but this is challenging. This is not easy to do. Because what we're looking at is can he actually do this without side bending, without falling out of the pipe. So we're gonna look at it side to side, ready? That's the left side, now do the other side. How'd the left side feel, Rosh? Uh, tight. Tight, okay, now do the right side. All right, good. Let's do it one more time. So, is he getting that 45 degrees? Al, what would you say side to side? The right side maybe looks a little bit better on this side versus the left. Arash, how did it feel? Yeah, right side's easier. Yeah, the right side definitely looks easier. Of course, if I were really purely assessing it, I would be looking at the same camera angle that you guys are looking at. I could come in here as well over top and just see, does he have the range of motion? Maybe you're not able to do that or have someone to help. But one side may feel different than the other. And say that Arash, his right side is limited. I would probably, if he came to me complaining about rhomboid pain, typically the side that you're limited rotating to is the side that you're gonna have that pain on. So now, just like we did the assessment, like many other things, the treatment is going to look the same as the assessment. So now, Arash, I just want you to work on this. So get into that same position, and now we're gonna rotate. I'm going to cue Arash to use this left shoulder blade. Arash, push into the ground through that left elbow to really help with you rotating and squeezing this right shoulder blade back. Also, Arash, follow my fingertips with your eyes. There you go, good. Letting Arash rotate his head and neck and turn is actually going to help him guide him where he wants to be and how much rotation he wants to get. How are you doing, good? Good, yeah. Good, so let's keep going. I'm using this hand to cue him to, hey, push through that left elbow. That's gonna help activate this left shoulder blade and we're gonna work on getting some nice rotation through his mid and upper back area. Perfect. Now you did that, that's exercise number one. Now exercise number two, let's work the thoracic spine, but in a different plane of motion. So we were just doing rotation, transverse plane of motion. Now come on your forearms, Arash. And you can actually move your elbows a little bit further. You don't have to be so close to your knees. Now do cat camel in this position. Round, now drop and let your shoulder blades come together. Good, push, really round. Good, drop down. So I like this, this is just a different way to do a cat camel, it's just a modified one on forearms. But I feel like it really helps the cue people to move through their shoulder blades compared to if they do it on their arms, on their hands. 
because people tend to compensate by letting their elbows bend and straighten. Rosh, how's it feel? Good, feel my mid back moving. Good, and then what tips would you give to the viewer? How would you feel this area moving more or less? Would you want your elbows closer to you? Would you want your elbows further away from you? Find a good challenge for yourself. It's all depending on your, your torso. So like my torso is longer, I need to be further out here. Okay. Um, sometimes I even like to go on, if you are on your hands and knees, then you mm -hmm. have to rock back so that your low back is locked out. Yeah. You can't move from your low back. Goal here is obviously to get that mid back moving is more so yeah. than the low back. And there's nothing wrong with doing it on the forearms or the hands. You have both options. Um, if you have any wrist issues, you're going to like this forearm option as well uh, because you're not putting so much force through your wrist. But if that were the case, just have your hands a little bit in front of your shoulders or use yoga blocks. All right, so that's two exercises. Now the last one, we're going to combine two different movements. Let's come up on your hands and knees, Arash. Now let's do thread the needle. Perfect, so now we're going back to that rotation, plane of motion, that transverse. Let's just focus on mastering this first. So threading the needle, right? We're getting relative right rotation because Arash is reaching through with his left arm. Now, if we wanna combine both motions, now Arash, go that way, and now sneak your left hand behind. Yeah, you can do it that way. Awesome, you can sneak through that way. What if you do now left hand behind your head and then really pushing through this right shoulder blade when you go to the left? Perfect, how's it feel? Good. You have different options with your hands, right? Haraj is showing here, he showed reaching up with the arm. If that's causing shoulder pain, don't bring the arm out like this or you can sneak the hand behind the back to really take out getting help from the left shoulder. So. Three exercises that you can do. We showed you the assessment. I promise you, you need to take a look at thoracic rotation. I dealt with pain in this area for a really long time, really nagging. And then when I really did this assessment, I was like, wow, my left rotation is so much different than my right. So now every single morning, I do these exercises. I just do the first one that we showed. I do 10 to 20 reps of that and I haven't had any issue there in a long time. I'm not rolling it, I'm not smashing it, I'm not pulling and yanking on my neck, and it's much better. So it's worth giving it a shot. Arash, thanks for always being a great demo. Guys, please be sure to subscribe, please be sure to comment, thumbs up, let us know if you like it, let us know what you wanna see more of, and uh, we'll be sure to honor that. All right, until next time.